Is it worth dating an Asian baby girl? What about marrying an ABG? David, the internet is debating this question and we have to delve deep and actually answer this question once and for all. Oh my goodness. We're talking about the ABGs who date ABBs, who pull up in the JDM, bump in EDM, this is the culture that's AZN. Wow. All right, everybody. Uh, we're going to go over some viral clips talking about ABGs. Let's run the first one. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, it's worth it. If you're strong enough. Oh, man. This is still getting uh, comments right now. But I think, you know, it's interesting because some of the Asian American world, Andrew, they're so like ABG, ABB centric in their discussions. But other people, they don't even know what it is. So other people got went viral making videos explaining what an ABG was. We got to define it. Check out these clips. The ABG term has, yes, has it's, it's become so muddied. After it's years, changed right? so much. I, I actually talked about this in another podcast. I grew up with ABGs. Like my aunts and uncles, like they were crazy the, ABGs. Like the OG, the actual back gangsters yes. wearing like their tiny little cami tops, yeah, the yeah, sweatpants, yeah. all tatted, mm -hmm. all like tongue piercings. But like, those are like the OG ABGs. Yes, like back in the day, ABG was like the girls that hung out with gangsters. All that stuff. But nowadays. Any Asian girl. Any, oh. It's too loosely defined. They, yeah, right. claim it. Any Asian girl. Oh, ABG, ABG. You get a lot of comments asking, what's an ABG? Let's define it for the people that's always asking. ABG stands for Asian baby girl, right? Colored hair, lashes long enough that I can feel the wind, tattoos. Not always no, tattoos. No, 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 not always tattoos. Not always tattoos. <laughs> Fake f***ers. <laughs> Vivian like, trans. Any other names? Cindy Tran. <gasps> Anything with Tran. Anything really with a Tran, true. really. Right. There's also the version of the ABG with like jet black hair. That's the most dangerous kind. Shout out to Jimmy and Connie. We yeah. actually know them from LA. Um, but David, real quick, ABB, we're talking about Asian baby boy. Right. Asian baby girl, also AKA known as Asian baby gangster back in the day, right? Right, right, right. So just so we know what the acronym means. So like if you're commenting right, right now and you're like, hey, I don't know what that means. I just told you. So historically, the term has changed. But Andrew, when you look up ABG on TikTok right now, this is what pops up. Um, man, you mean a bunch of hot girls? Jeez. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, we're going to get into some quick thoughts. And then, of course, get into the comment section. Andrew, what is your first thought that, like, often, I guess, gets overlooked in this whole discussion? No, if we even take this discussion serious, I think clearly due to the search engine optimization and the views and the engagement, I guess we have to. I David, guess this is the most pressing issue in the Asian American community. I want to be clear here. I am taking this very seriously. All right. What, I don't know about you. I'm taking it very seriously. What is Me. your first takeaway? Me. Guys, fellas, two, short answer to answer this question. Is it worth dating an ABG? A true ABG. A real ABG. Because there are fake BGs yeah. now. Is it worth dating a real ABG? And the answer to me to that question is, can you even attract an ABG? Do they I, even like you? That's the big question everybody's missing. Do, do you like, have oh, to be an ABB though? Do you bro, have to be the can, male equivalent of an ABG it? to get ABG? Guys are sitting behind their computer with no tattoos, no vape, no, no black muscles. shirt, no chain, no nothing. No edginess, No right? connection to that world. And they're like, should I date an ABG? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Um... <laughs> that's pretty funny yeah but maybe you could get a girl that does abg makeup but it's not an abg because i've seen some pretty crazy transformations so, on social media so, so i do want to note that abg now is more of an aesthetic we've talked about this on our channel right it's generally the lashes kind usually a tattoo dyed hair uh some eyeshadow you know the kind of the outfits kind of like the very skimpy outfits the bags the style kind of the swag but i do want to point out uh, personality traits that I think are in actual ABGs. Okay, what right, are Real they? quick, just so we're clear, and this is what I believe. You guys let me know down below if you think I'm right or wrong. Sassy. sassy. Uh, they're dopamine-driven. They're fun to hang out with, but they're also fiery when they're drunk or, and mad. Okay, they are sexy. They're flirty. They're moody. They're bored easily. Mm. They vape. They are aware of their sexual appeal. Okay, they mostly, And they know how to wield it. Yeah. And they mostly care about their own world, their own social circle. So they're not very political. They're not like too big picture minded, but they can be witty and sharp. Right. Not more, taking that away. More from. managing the more yeah. clannish nature of lifestyle. Yeah, right? but they can probably run a small business. Um, they have a strong social circle. Mm, okay. So I think it's fair to say that there's probably a ranking, right? I'm not the rank master of ABG-ness or whatever like that, but... Just like anything, Andrew, third degree burns, second degree burns, first degree burns. Murder is also first degree, second degree, third degree. I, wow. I would say that there's like a negative five. This is like a really religious girl growing up in a really traditional country. There's probably a zero. I'm going to center that. I just, your average Asian American born 
girl in California. Oh, okay. One to two might be like a church Asian girl, but does the lashes and does the dyed hair to get a little bit more attention. Three, four, and five on the scale is starting to be, in my opinion, real ABG. So... But anywhere from a one to a five, you can see the ABG, yes, at yes. least on the out exterior. Yeah, but three, four, and five is where your boyfriend may or may not have troubles with the law. So if you had to guess and generalize, a lot of the girls who tag ABG on TikTok, what ranking on average would you give them, like range? Two and three. Two and three, right. Maybe, maybe one to three. Right, visually, they have the ABG makeup, they got a little sass, a little attitude, might be Vietnamese, Southeast Asian, right. maybe Chinese, but yeah. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of Chinese Viets too, to be honest. Um, yeah, as far as my own personal experience, you know, I, I wouldn't say that me or you typify exactly what an ABG is looking for, but you know, definitely been on dates with them in but my life. You don't think in I'm an ABB? You don't think I'm an Asian baby boy? You, you don't think I'm a Kevin Wynn? You more are getting the K-pop NRB right. instead of ABG. Yeah, I don't know. You might you might have a little bit more ABG appeal to me. I mean, you got the little beads on. You got the hat. You know, you, you look a little more. For, for little, sure. A for sure. More for gangster, sure, a notch you know? or anyway. two. A fidget, <laughs> for sure, a notch or two. Um, yeah, I just think that, you know, it, it's an aesthetic now. And it's so interesting because anytime this topic comes up, Andrew, these videos just get so many views. Right. So clearly, people in the community, outside of the community, they're, they're getting views just trying to explain it. Let's get into the comments section, Andrew. Somebody said, oh, man, you got to date an ABG at least once in your life, man. All right, yeah, and then someone else said, yeah, I'm toxic enough. And then uh, an ABG actually popped up, and I'll just pop up a photo right here. I can confirm this looks about a four out of five, maybe a three. I'd say three. Uh, it's not, it's not a like five a... out of five. But yeah, she said, nah, trust me, guys, it's not worth it. I'm an ABG myself, and yeah, I can tell I, you that. I'm just zooming in on her profile picture. She's watching football in the background. Yeah, I give her a 3.5. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will say this. Um, any man that can date an ABG will in his life once. You will do it. If, if you can, you will. I have... Kind of, I think I've gone out with an ABG that's maybe a 2.5, 3, never really dated, right? We know some in LA. We've done videos. We've done content with some 3.5, some 4s. Dude, some of those girls are pretty ABG, let's be honest. Maybe some of them I may consider acquaintances and friends. Right. But no, I, we do not really typify what the ABG wants. So I'm not like the... King ABB for sure. I don't right, have right, the right. tattoos, the earrings, all that stuff. Somebody said, I was clearly never strong enough. And somebody said, law, fun to party with, but dating, you got to be built different. And someone said, man, ABG like too much drama, man. Men don't want drama. All they want is Lexus, LV, Tesla, but, you know, a yeah. bunch of stuff. You know, they always want to wrap the car, get the car matte black wrap. David, serious question. Do you think a man who cannot and does not want to date an ABG, but can still kind of uh, quench his thirst for it by just partying with them and hanging out with yeah, them yeah. in the group. Like, if you're like a guy who doesn't really appeal to ABGs, but you're in a group where there's some ABGs and you're like, dude, that was really fun to party with the ABGs. But yeah, I could see why uh, I'm not going to date them or marry yeah, them. Yeah, I think it really depends on like how much you want to craft your life because you'd have to, let's just say there's five major like uh, moons around like that compose like a life. You'd have to change like all five of them to appeal to that. <laughs> thing and i see a lot of guys they like abgs but they're like not even willing to change more than like one of them and i'm like bro you got to change all five realistically someone said fuck lock toe in westminster is crazy uh that's in the first meme they're mm. at the, the mall in westminster right, right, and somebody right. said uh do ABGs Wait, have we been there yeah i think there. we there somebody once, said yeah. do abgs still go there ain't no way and someone said yeah you're right only like the old way older ones maybe yeah. if they want to pick up some 24 karat jewelry they would stop by there uh, yeah I, well, can I, we talk about how it's it's not this way anymore? No, you mean, all right, so back in the day at any new, especially back when these shopping malls were new. These, oh, they were, they were fine. Whether it was the Chinese mall or the Viet one or the one, there's out, out on Bel Air Ave, out in Houston. Guys, like these strip malls, like they used to be the spot where everybody would go to. I, I think you can still find them there. I think ABG still make their way and stop in and no, hang to, out there. To, from, to like do some business. Yeah, to get fun, you know, but what I mean is that it's not, it's, if you go there now and you see anybody who resembles the ABG, they might be shopping for their parents, okay? Or they're older and they're probably from another country. They're probably, like, if they're a Viet girl that kind of looks like an ABG, she's probably from Vietnam. And probably like 40 plus or something like that. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Or, or it's like the girl who just is, you know, fresh off the boat yeah. who's working I, at the I, mall. I see a lot more girls, because first of all, the ABG thing was driven by the refugee experience, right? Let's be honest. And it's like, 
that the even the younger generations they're just so removed from that and they're almost taking the abg look or some of the sass or whatever and really like you can see abgs at like equinox gym now you know what i mean like that's not a context you would have ever seen it they're like mixing with like uh the mainstream world you know I which is suppose. great though i mean it's just is what it is somebody's saying uh i'm the last asian on earth that doesn't know what an abg is uh this guy is like a doctor from the midwest is it true um a lot of people from overseas were saying it as well andrew it's really a coastal thing right specifically from the west coast yeah. specifically from yeah, houston for sure san jose OC. No, you know, OC, yeah. Seattle a little bit. 626 yeah. six a little bit. Shout yeah, out to Rose Meet Almani. Um, okay, so on the East Coast, in New York, there are some ABGs. I think Boston, Philly has some ABGs. Uh, Those would be the only three at, places. Atlanta, on the- maybe, but I think Atlanta is so far south that the ABG culture, it's like it's more maybe than- more Southern influence, but it's probably their version of ABG too. Listen, any place that has like a significant amount of like Vietnamese people, to be honest, it's not just Viet. But it's like often Cambodian. There are some Filipino ABGs, although I would say the center of ABGs are Viet and Chinese Viet people. Right, the core of it. Yeah. Right, but then there's like rings, rotational out stuff from the tree trunk. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more mixed with almost like Triad and Meek Mill. It's, it's hard to explain mm. on the East Coast. Somebody said, man, I thought you were talking about ABCs, American-born Chinese. No, I'll tell you this. The way the guy is acting in ABC, that new Disney Plus show, that guy would not get any ABGs. The character in ABC. Wait, this girl who left the comment, is she Asian? She I don't know. Like maybe non-Asian. Somebody said, if you're an ABG and reading this, my DMs are open. I am a farm and an MBA. This guy, I don't know, man. He doesn't really look like he would get ABGs. I don't want to say that he no, no, no. doesn't, but let's, I would just not. Fan duel odds, I'm taking the nah, under. Nah, nah. All right, I got it. I got it. Henry Wynn. I got it, right? So you're a farm, you know, doctorate, MBA. Maybe you're not part of that world. I would say you got to start a separate Instagram, mm. okay? And you got to have an alter ego. You got to make sure you get tats. Okay, don't quit your farm and job. And he does have access to the pills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whoa. Uh, but don't quit your farm job because you're going to need money to take these girls out. Uh, but you do have to get a tat. You probably need to work out a little bit, you know, and get a different haircut and then get earrings too. But you need to show all this on a separate Instagram where you... You, that's the one you use to meet. What about him ABG being, fa- calling himself like Kevin Wynn Farm ABB? Because there was this other girl who came in and said, yeah, I'm Dr. ABG. Or is that is that cringe that to use ABG as like a branding yeah, so for magnetism in 2023? Because it's something from like the street world what, that like, if you guys know about street things, they really are only street as long as they're undefined, right? Yeah. And it's almost becoming so mainstream now. It's like a... I mean, it's, everything's about branding, right? Henry Wynn here, he could call himself Henny Wynn. That would be kind of funny. You know, that maybe that's his ABB name. But as far as like just putting ABG in your profile, it's kind of like putting like CEO at the end of your name. CEO like, Hustler yo, Inc. Andrew Fung, CEO. Because I'm the CEO of the Fung Bros. David, me and you, we're co-CEOs of the Fung Bros. Yeah, technically, hey. but like what? Could have been broke records. <laughs> Shout out to Drewski. Uh, this girl said, lol. Um, do you think that this girl was an ABG in a past life? Yes or no? I'm, I mean, she looks like she's trying to vie for the cover of Home Homemaker Magazine right now. I got a hot take. Uh, shout out to Julie Mai Tran. I don't know her, but she looks like she's trying to share some dishes uh, in, her, in her roots no, the, with people. No, you cook how to cook squash. Her name is Julie Tran already. She's she's already got no, something there. You going with the you saying the my tran? The my tran is already slightly ABG, and then I think that smile, bro. You know, you telling me that back in the day she didn't smile that same way in a teeny black dress out in Vegas in the hotel room before she, she went a, out. Did she have the bebe tea though? No, no, that that's even older school with the BB. But I'm saying just she. I think she was a formerly a slight ABG. That's my guess. Like a one or a two or a yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Somebody said, it's all fun and games till they slash your tires and key your car. And this girl said, oh my gosh, I used to threat my ex-boyfriend like that. Yo, if you are an ABG that can actually bring yourself to key your, your boyfriend's you, car. You are four or a five. You are four or five ABG, for sure. Yeah, somebody said, uh, ABGs ain't that bad after you date a Latina. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, I do actually think I, I was looking into it and, and this is like way too like just technical for people's thing, but like it was actually influenced by the Chola world. It is. Heavily, but no. it was just like, you know, that, there, that there's a history. really strong connection between Cholas and ABGs and the influence in California of, of on each other. And yes. Party going on in California. So I got to be in California. Um, somebody said, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, we could go on. I, I want to end the comments here. Andrew, what are the takeaways? This is a uh, silly discussion in a way, but if 
This is what people care about. And this is what the young Asian Americans care about making podcasts about. This is how they get their gravity. David. Explaining this very internal Asian American thing that apparently is spreading out to other worlds now. Because I would say a lot of other Asian guys, uh, non-Asian guys, Andrew, if you talk to like uh, specifically more black or Latino guys, they'd be like, yeah, if I was going to get an Asian girl, I'd like an ABG. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to take this seriously, uh, I would say... ABGs uh, are mostly an aesthetic right now. That's how it's known. And a there's some, but very you do few, have to have some behaviors to say. Very sell it. few are true ABGs. What, two, if you are a guy and can attract ABGs and can date them, and you have what they want, and you are what they want, then you will date them a little bit. At you're least. saying if you have access to the nuclear button, yeah, you're yeah 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 yeah. Um, it may not be worth it in the long term, uh, but. For the guys out there wondering, like, hey, how do I attract the ABG? You literally just have to become what they like. That's right. the easiest way to put it. And what but, they but like. But aren't there a lot of guys out there hoping, like, I'm not what they like, but I like them, and I hope they like me. You know, I'm not what they like, but I sure am pondering if I should date them or not. The option's not there. You can't. So your best bet is to find a girl who can do her makeup like an ABG, who maybe has a little bit of flirtiness in her, but is not Maybe really, has a cousin that was an ABG yeah. so she can draw from inspiration. And she could be any type of Asian because it, it, now it's an aesthetic. I mean, hey, even like non-Asians can adopt somewhat of an ABG aesthetic, I guess. You know, so I'm saying like, just get a girl who got the look and that's really what you want. That's, re that's, that's 50, 60% of what you want. Okay. I would say this, uh, you know, I think you got the micro takeaway as far as a macro takeaway goes. I think it's really interesting that there's all these Asian American podcasts like talking about things that are just like super like in our world, in the AZN world. Right. You know what I mean? And it's almost like, I, I don't know if the younger influencers that are Gen Z, they don't need to learn a very in depth about like white or black culture anymore. Maybe white culture, you kind of get exposed to because America is primarily a white country, but it's almost like there's no need to learn anybody else's society beyond like a four out of 10 level. As long as you know, the Asian world, which is like Keshi and ADA rising and EDM clubs and like, you know, AZN things. It's almost like a return to AZN 3.0, 4.0 without ever like calling it that. David, I agree, and I think what you're trying to say is that we are the only channel in the world that will make a bunch of videos analyzing ABGs and also analyze Vivek Ramaswamy and Harvard Fair Admissions cases, all right? I think we're the only people who will do it. All right, everybody. Uh, from silly to serious, Andrew. This is sponsored by Smala. Get your sauce at oh, yeah. smalasauce.com. Of course, guys. Uh, number one ABG sauce right there, David. Hold it up. ABGs <laughs> love it. Uh, hold it more in the middle. Yeah. A ABGs love Smala, guys. I'm not lying. I'm, I didn't just say that just to sell it. Smalasauce.com. Check it out. It's made with truffle. It's delicious. Goes on everything. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.